And we've been talking a lot about fire danger, Sam, yep. but those high-profile vehicles really need to watch out today as well. Yeah, and some school closures in Werfano County. Patrick had found that, sent it off to me due to some of the strong winds we've already been seeing. These are some of the wind reports from the last hour. No, I'm scrambling to finish our online digital story, so in case you miss anything about the weather, you can look at KOAA.com and you can get an update of what some of the winds will be in your city through the day. But this is what we've gotten so far. So some of the strongest winds have been on I-25 in between Pueblo and the Werfano County line, but then also generally within the vicinity of Walsenburg, 80 miles per hour down there. Westcliff on the west side, so like six miles west of town, we had a gust of 85 miles per hour. Farther west than that in South Wolf Creek Pass, 70 miles per hour. Cheyenne Mountain actually had a gust of 68 miles per hour, and then La Vida was around 70 at times. So today, dangerous wind. That's been some of our big story. Dust from this wind could blow through the plains and the I-25 corridor and reduce visibility to zero. So it could be like trying to drive through a snowstorm, but it's dust in the plains. Gusts today could be anywhere from 60 to, yes, up near 100 miles per hour, although those 100 mile per hour gusts are probably a little lofty over the mountains, so not as affected for people where we're going to actually have people living. Strongest in the mountains and valleys in that southern stretch of I-25, and it's actually snowing pretty heavy over near Vail in Glenwood Springs, so way west on I-70. This is the current wind, everybody. I mean, Hold on to your hats this morning. Pueblo, Colorado Springs are gusting in the 30 to 40 mile per hour range. In the wet mountains to Levita to Walsenburg, it's anywhere from 40 to at times close to 70 miles per hour, especially in between Walsenburg and Colorado City on I-25. So it's great that CDOT went ahead and gave Werfano County a high wind restriction. It's going to be safer for semi trucks. The winds through the lunch hour will be taking a little bit more of a westerly turn, so blowing really strong over the mountains and the foothills in the 40 to 60 mile per hour range but we may not see as many 50 mile per hour gusts at the middle of the day across the Pikes Peak region. As we take a look down towards Pueblo, the winds have been very strong, particularly from Colorado Springs to Walsenburg this morning. As we get out through the 9 a.m. hour, not much changes. Yes, while well, a 90 mile per hour gust at Walsenburg is possible, we've gotten already to like 82. It is going to be a little tougher to get to 95 or 90 possible, but tougher to do. Temperatures today will actually be pretty warm in the southeast plains and cooler up north because that's where the cold air is coming in from. So on our seven day forecast, we are going to see 60s turn to 40s on Wednesday. It's cooler and chilly tomorrow. And while it's windy tomorrow, it's not as windy today. Today is the priority in our super seven day forecast in Pueblo. Very windy with blowing dust outside. We've got a high of 50 or nearly 50 tomorrow, and then we do warm up through the weekend with fire danger returning, particularly through Saturday and Sunday. Canyon City, windy and gusty today with blowing dust out through Pueblo West and Pueblo. It's going to be windy over the weekend. Woodland Park, we're still waiting to see if a snow flurry or snow shower can blow through the town at the middle of the morning, but it's going to be windy regardless and will be warmer into the end of the week.